Cowabunga. Is that, that's not the Cowabunga? Okay. Turtles was cool, though. All right. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Uh, switched up the LGS today. Sometimes, uh, you know, local game stores are charging a little too much, so I went to a different local game store that actually gave me a pretty reasonable price. Uh, these were $25 a piece, where I was used to spending about 30 bucks. And uh, they also included uh, a booster pack for each one of these that I purchased. That is freaking amazing. So, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with those results. And then also tomorrow we're going to be cracking open all of these. That's right. We're going to find out what's inside all of these Steam boosters. This time they got a gold one. So very interesting stuff. Make sure you come back to the channel tomorrow for that. But let's get to cracking Captain. Oh, how's everyone doing? Is anyone going to... Uh, I'm very curious. If anyone's going to a pre release event because as far as i know they still got a lot of restrictions only 10 people allowed you know um yeah, in a gathering um until that changes i think it's going to be changing at some point here but as of right now that is simply not the case um the one i went into i think it's comics and cards or uh, something like that it's on pearl road in strongsville um i might be saying that wrong but regardless very very cool people in there and uh any other time i went in that store i was used to seeing like a lot of people you know um around pre-release time and today they there was maybe 10 folks in there and it was just kind of sad i mean he's usually running like three 50 man uh pre-release events like it's the place is just always packed over there if you guys ever been there you know really really cool store um and correct me if um because i'm sure i'm not correct about the title maybe comics and games or something like that really really cool place anyway um, i'll put it in the uh the comment section but let's get to cracking guys let's see what's all up in here ketria triome now as you know a lot of prices have gone down the toilet um and that's going to happen the reason prices were so jacked up in that first video of mine is very simple or the first couple videos is because supply and demand. It's, it's simple uh, economics, I guess. I don't know. Um, just simple stuff. Not a lot of people had them. Um, you know, and I was lucky to get my hands on them, getting them from someone out of the country. But that, uh, ooh, what is that? All I know is that's a really cool card, Evolving Wilds, man. The ability on that is just phenomenal. Freshly printed. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, good times, good times. Um, overprinting. Um, is probably not going to be a crazy case with Ikoria. I mean, I don't think it will be. Um, Death's Oasis, cool card. I got a cool little deck build on that one. I'm just really excited. I'm kind of talking all over the place right now. Um, but the prices were jacked up because it's supply and demand. You know, there was not a lot out there. So the prices you were looking at was based on how many are out there in the market right now and what those people are asking for those cards. As you know, the Godzilla, um, the error one. Oh, hot dogs, baby. Wow, we just hit a home run. Uh, Loris, nice pool. Um, I, in the beginning, this was like a $24 card. It has since dropped to about $10. I'm not going to be doing prices um, in this video. I think for future videos, I'm not going to be doing prices um, in the beginning, and, um, the reason, or, you know, at least for the first, like, two, two sets, or first two, three openings, what am I saying here, I, I'm, I'm really excited, you can tell I'm flustered, because it's a pre-release kit, you know, um, really, really cool, it's just a shame, you know, we're not going to be able to go into a lot of local game stores and uh, participate in this event right now, but, ooh, we got something juicy in the back, easy prey, Oh, I already know what it is. Save Crystal and Cub Warden. Not the craziest value, but really neat card and uh, fun little art on that. There you go. Nice little Cub Warden. Um, yeah, good goodness. We'll take it. Let's make a pile of how many different cards we get. Survivor's Bond all up in you. All right. That's what he said. And, uh, ooh, a Companion Token. I don't think I remember seeing that Companion Token. That's pretty cool. That is pretty neat, man. All right. We got a Companion Token. That may be the first one I opened. So, hot diggity darn, man. Um, really cool. Uh, imposing stuff. We got more things. Dead weight. What decks have you guys been playing with? Um, what decks are you having the most fun with? I got so many questions. It's just ongoing. Shout out your LGS. I mean, all types of shenanigans, man. Um, yeah, for sure. Because uh, right now, they need support for Darn sure. Dire Tactics up in here. Archipelagor. Yeah, that's a fun card, huh? An eerie ultimatum. A lot of fun uh, ultimatum builds are being thrown about out there. Really, really cool. And we got uh, this guy and that guy. Human Soldier. They came a long way with these tokens. I will tell you that. I am very impressed with uh, the tokens. Um, 
there's no denying that, my friends. The tokens have come a very long way. Oh, wow, pre-release kit. Um, I couldn't even tell you what deck I'd build if I was participating in an event using this um, using this kit right here. Reconnaissance Mission. Good old Moloch. Look at the art on that guy. Fun time. Night Bonder and Umori the Collector. Very, very cool. And as far as these companion cards go, I think they're pretty busted, man. And I heard some people in the comment section saying, well, you know, maybe... Uh, here we see what our, our promo card is. Oh, there you go. There's a code for you cool cats out there. Joey Moss giving away some goodies. Ha da ha da ba ba ba. Yeah, just make sure I'm um, gonna do you know show some love, share the video, whatnot. Uh, there you go. Pre-release code right there for you, my friend. And also we have ooh a Sky Cat Sovereign. Hot diggity darn. There's only one card in here. I'm assuming there is. People are like, I can't believe you're opening it. That could have been a billion dollars in a few days. Um, yeah, I don't care. There you go. Skycat Sovereign in all of its glory. Nice foil shine. Um, and you get one of these guys as well in here. With, there's the spin down. I'm sure people are curious what they look like. Now you know, my friends. All right, moving along like King Kong. No pun intended. Maybe we'll pull them. All right, cracking the next one. And we still got four loose booster packs in the back. That's going to be exciting, too. Um, there we go. Let's get this slipping over here and get this cracking up here. I wonder, I wonder what's going to be our blunder. Oop, we got a pack right there. I'm going to move this over here. This guy, you get, here's what the divider looks like. And then we got some booster packs. This one, surprisingly, is also blue. Can we roll an eight? No, we rolled a one. That's right. We rolled a freaking one. Unbelievable. But yeah, um, share the video for sure if you guys do enjoy it. A lot of people haven't seen what's all inside of these kits yet, and uh, I'm sure they wouldn't mind seeing them. So there you go. Evolving Wild. Man, this card is just phenomenal, man. <sighs> Hope they never reprint it. I'm sure they won't. It'll probably never be reprinted again. Primal Empathy with Avian Oddity, Breacher, and Obosh. Another companion. I find these companions to be completely busted. You're basically allowed to start the game with an additional card in your hand. Uh, does that seem right? Does that, that, is that fair? I mean, I guess it is if everyone can do it, if you want to look at it that way. But um, my personal opinion, I wouldn't be surprised if they get banned. I mean, you're legit. I, I get their stipulations with each, with each one. But, I mean, even if you branch outside of standard, you know, it's uh, it doesn't take too much to build a very, very powerful deck based around one of these companions, you know. Um, Everquill Phoenix, cool card. I like that it keeps coming back. I really do. Very, very fun card to play with, man. Well, it, it can come back, you know, if played correctly. Uh, a Swampy and a Dinosaur and Beast out the back. But, um, yeah, I I don't I don't know if they're ever going to do Companions again. I, I think um, we're all realizing now they are extremely busted cards. Uh, wow, some guys have all the luck, huh? And uh, decent, pa decent pack here right here. A lot of uh, control aspects and uh, shutting down things. Um, I like them, but I don't. Here's a fun card. If you haven't seen my deck text yet, um, I made a lot of builds already. And this is this guy's in, I think, one or two of them. Very, very fun card uh, to play with, nonetheless. Um, yeah, good times. But uh, what are your thoughts? Do you guys think it's busted? Do you think they should stick around? Do uh, you think they should make more companions in the in upcoming sets? I mean, I highly doubt it. People in Commander are kind of like blown away that now you have 101 cards in a deck basically and you can start um you know you can have a companion as your uh yeah you can have a companion in the game as well with commander crazy rules this card is really obnoxious that card's really fun to play with got the force and another triome these lands i'm sure have tanked in value probably like a dollar to two dollars a piece at this point for the non-extended art versions of them um really all the money lies in like collector packs and uh, the extended art and all that other stuff, you know. That's really where all the all the dough is at in these. But nonetheless, still a blast to open. Um, Flourishing Fox. Ooh, Auspicious Starix. That's cool. I like seeing that. Very, that's one of my favorite cards to play. It really is. I do enjoy that a lot. Uh, we have a Necro Panther, followed by a Ruinous Ultimatum. All right, not bad, not bad. And a Foil Mythos of Luna. Pretty cool. People have any luck with these Mythos, or is it Mythos, Mythos, the Freshmaker? Yeah, whatever. But nice little foil action there. We'll take it. 
we're doing these, my friends. We're doing these. Down to one pack to crack here. Let's see what we get. I'm excited if what I pulled out of the uh, the booster box. I mean, um, the owner just had a, a booster box sitting there, and yeah, for every kit you buy, you get a you get a booster pack. I'm like, that is a great deal. Cool little cavern whisperer there, whispering caverns. Um, very blown away by that, indeed. But the hype is all real, and um, it's just a shame you can't really go out and play, you know. Ooh, there he is, my dude, right there, hanging out, hot diggity darns, man. Coggle the Titan Ape in all of his glory, fun stuff. Channeled Force, bada bing, in all of its foilness, not bad. I don't know why I keep getting this like feeling like I want to open a masterpiece, you know. What do we got here? Oh, if that's not a masterpiece, I don't know what is. Luminous Brood Moth, showing up, baby! Woo! Followed by yours truly, a code for my ninjas out there. Out on the hustle. Bada bing. Get it. Get it. Good. All right, on we go. Let's, uh, oof, I'm not even going to open that. Just kidding. We're going to open that. That is a beautiful pool, man. I only expect this card to go up in value. This is definitely um, one of the more sought-after cards in the entire set. You are looking at it. Very, very cool. Um, price on this, I am not really certain. Um, I'd probably have to say around 20 bucks right now. So that was a very good hit. That alone basically paid for um, the entire the entire box, the entire kit. So hats off to that pool. All right, we got two more to go. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Definitely take a moment, hit that like button. Uh, if you enjoy um, the openings, it does help out a lot. It really, really does. All right. Ooh, we got a white one this time. There she blows. All right. Six. Ten. Man, I was way off. All right, moving along. Let's go. Moving along like King Kong. Oh, is that, is that how I said King Kong last time? Fun times. All right. Go for blood. That's right. That's what my ex says. All right, let's keep it going. Ooh, we got another um, one of these guys in the back. We got another extender. Another extended art card. Not bad. Void Reckoner. Beckoner. Sure. This guy. Ooh. Polywog Symbiote. And a Gem Razor. Cool card. Cool, crazy art right there. That's straight out of a comic book action right there. Man, awesome pool. We'll take it. And a foil planes to close her out. Not bad. And a mountain. And a dinosaur. A lot more stuff behind there. We didn't really realize. Wow, not bad. We are doing pretty good. I'm just glad I pulled a decent pre-release uh, foil. That was that made my day. That made my day. Huntmaster, a liger coming out the gate. All right, that goes in this pile. Auspicious Starx again. The Slither Whisper. That's right. What do you guys think of the Flash decks? Have they been uh, doing a whole lot? I don't know how competitive they've been. I know there was a lot of hype around them in the beginning, and I know they still hold up, you know, some decent weight. But I, did, I don't think they're too overpowering. Maybe I could be wrong on that. There are some decent ones out there. Checkpoint Officer coming at us. What else? Let's get some of that juiciness. Come on. This guy. Matt. Pouncing Shore Shark. There you go. Good for budget builds. Crystal and the Ozolith. Cool card. I still want to make a much better deck around the Ozolith. I have used him in one or two builds now. I think one build. Uh, a mono green build with a bunch of counters around it. Very fun, interesting deck nonetheless. Uh, can get crazy out of, out of control. The Ozolith is a fun little card there. It's going to maintain some good value. Narset of the Ancient Way. There you go. We got the emblem for my girl. Not bad. We'll take it. Emblems are always pretty cool. Some emblems do end up being worth a lot more than others down the road. I'd be surprised. Some are like six, seven, eight bucks. It's pretty nuts. So always hang on to your emblems. Uh, take good care of your emblems, guys. That's right. Pouncing Shore Shark, Crystal, Amina Seas, and my Mythos of Brokos. That's all I'm saying. It's Brokos. Whatever. We call it Brokos around here. All right, not bad. There you go. And a Dismal Backwater. Reminds me of some song. I can't think of it, though. But there you have it. Two packs to crack in this pre-release kit. Let's see what else? Journey with me. What are we going to get? We got the Garfield. All right, it's weird. Light of Hope. Light of Nope. Fight is one. Great card. Very, very great card. Does see a lot of play. I got a deck using that. Four copies in the main. Heartless Act. Ooh, got to love the brightness and the colors. That is exuberant. Does that apply? I don't know. Another Mythos. We'll take it. The Fresh Maker. And uh, Swampy with a Human Soldier in the back. Jack. Bada, bada, bang. Whoosh. All right. Let's see what we got here. We are down to just a few. Just a few. 
Charge of the Forever Beast. All right, good stuff. Lockdown. Grammy. Haunted Nightmare. Look how those two went together. Good old Menace builds. Menace is just not there. Um, I've dabbled with Menace. A lot of people have asked me to make a Menace deck. There's only so much you could do with Menace. If I put up... That's cool. If I put up a Menace deck, everyone would be like, you just copied someone else's deck. Well, you're limited to how much you can do with Menace right now. <laughs> There's only so many good options you can roll with with Menace right now. It's that simple. Um, I guess this goes over here in the foil pile. What do we get for a cool card here, huh? Oh, a Shark Typhoon. That's probably going to hold a nice little value, too, down the road. Not bad at all. Shark Typhoon up in the piece. Hot diggity dogs. We will take it. Cool card. And then our code for you guys and gals. Bada boosh. Right there. Not bad at all. I dig it. If you do end up redeeming these, let me know in the comments as well. It's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, for sure. All right, another one of those, another one of these. Got one of those. I will open this up just so I can throw it in my pile. Make it in my pile. Everyone's got some nice little piles out there. There's my pile. All right, moving along. All right, we got one more kit here, baby. One more kit and four packs in the back. I was trying to make the kits an average of five minutes a kit. I think I did pretty good. We will see. We will see. Here we go. Here we go. Any cards you're really excited to pull in this? I'd love to hear about it. I would love to hear about it. We all know what that is. I think you can see it. There's our little code guy and this guy and some packs. Let's go. Oh, another blue one. So I got three blue, one red. Six. Fifteen. No chance. No chance. Right. Off to the races. Can we get a nasty mythic out of here? Just one nasty, dirty mythic to rule them all. There we go. Cloud Piercer. Not too shabby. All right, Cloud Piercer goes up in here. Rescuer, Mentor, pop -a -rup -rup. another Amori. What a collector, wow. Um, I think if you get a, yeah, if you get this card in your pre-release kit, you're probably off to a really good start because, uh, yeah, you're probably going to win. Um, that's, that's really it. That's all I got to say about that. You're probably doing great. Pay no attention to the piles. They mean nothing. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we get here. Moss Coat, called the Death Dweller. See some action with this card as well. And another Loris. Wow. We pulled some good rares. We definitely did. Two Loris of the Dream Dens. That is a beautiful sight to see. Nice pulls. Nice pulls for sure. Planes and a human soldier. <clears throat> yes, sir. Prices are probably already stabilized. Um, I do have another couple uh, collector boxes I'll be opening. One for myself, one for um, a patron of the channel, and also a booster box. Great card. Um, a booster box I'll be opening for a patron also. Uh, Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Wow, we hit a lot of, um, of these companions, I'll tell you that. We hit the good ones, too. It's pretty nice. Bloodfell Caves and another companion token out the back. All right, we got three packs here to crack, and then I'm excited to see what we do pull in the four uh, freebie packs. What a great deal that is, huh? Howlbounder. There's another card you know you throw up in there. Probably two or three of if you're running a Menace build for anyone interested. And Labyrinth Raptor. Hot dogs. I got a feeling we're going to see him again in a second. And a Migratory Greyhorn foil. Pretty sweet. You guys fans of these arts? I think they're different. They're fun. There's something, there's something out there, man. There's something, there's something way different than the norm. I think that's fun. That's right. All right, two packs, baby. Weird-looking creature on that pack. What do we got? Let's get into it. Ooh, a Huntmaster Liger in its alternate form. Pretty impressive. That can go on the impress file. Mm. Smasher. My feels Snapdex. There you go, Snapdex. A little bit of Apdex, Snapdex, Apex. And a Forest. All right, Human Soldier. Uh, lands are... Uh, everything's confused over here. Not sure what's going on. There we go. All right, five packs to crash, baby. Hoping for something dirty. Like, let me get a Nethroy, Apex of Death or something, you know? Something stupid good. Uh, Titans. Let's see that Mythic, baby. Let's see that Mythic. Here it comes. Ooh! Apex of Thunder. Man, I was way off. Uh, cool card. I see more and more decks being utilized, or uh, playing this card. Uh, very interesting. The Vadrock Apex of Thunder is pretty cool. Nice little three-drop legendary. Uh, yeah, Mythic. All right, cool. Human Soldier. What do we get for our cool card? It is Labyrinth Raptor. There you have it, my friends. In all of its foil goodness. And the last one here. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. 
It's only one person can use Four people are going to use these. Four different people, because you can't enter it more than once. That's how it works. But there you go. There you go, my friend. Glad to help. Glad to help out. I, I, I get some savings, and I pass it on to you guys. That's how it works. Hot dogs. Oh, I think my son wanted a code. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Labyrinth Raptor in all of its glory. Bada bing. Nice. All right. Let's see what's in the last four packs, baby. So these ones were the freebies. Pretty excited to see what we can get inside of these guys. Hopefully something good, good. We got a human soldier token in the front, because things are different for these packs, I guess. Swampy, Huntmaster Liger. Pretty cool. This must uh, These packs are probably printed over in Japan, I would assume. Ah, uh, Sky Cat Sovereign. Not bad at all. We are doing all right. And this and that and that and the other. Oh, and a Starix. That's pretty sweet. All right. Pretty good. Pretty solid little pack there. We will take it. And nothing out the back there. A bunch of com bunch of combos. Wow, I put a put that over there. Interesting. Three packs, baby. Three packs. Come on, let's see something good. How lucky can I be? We're gonna find out together. Got the old Swift Clifters. Did it again. Swift Cliffs and a Genesis Ultimatum. Pretty cool. Looks faded though. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. We will take it. Followed by this guy. And I think we got another. Nope, we do not. Thought we had something else back here. It looked like it for a second. And nope. All right. That's that's it for that. Two more packs. Come on, one mythic. Let me get one mythic out of that booster box. 36 packs in all. I gotta pull one mythic, right? We got four packs. What are the odds, huh? What are the odds? What are the odds? The Ozolith, I will take that. Another solid little pull there. Pretty legit. And the Ominous Seas. <clears throat> Followed by the Cunning Neighborhood. All right. And to close her out, a Migratory Great Horn. All right. Last pack to crack Jack. What's it going to be, guys? What's it going to be? Bada bing. Here we go. For all the Marble Gates. All the marble gades. I don't know what a marble gate is, but you know it's something. Marble aid, something. I was going somewhere with that. Marble aid. I don't know. I heard about it somewhere. Rugged Highlands. Bada boosh and a loot lottery. The spell chaser. You can't really. There's not too much. I don't think you could do with this card just yet. At least it's still being figured out. I could be wrong completely. But there you have it. So we pulled almost every single companion you can get out of one of these. Almost every one. Can you tell me which one we're missing? I wonder if you can. And that's it. All right. I had a blast opening this. Let me know about your guys' stories with pre-release. Um, if you're going, if you're just going to play on Arena, whatever the case may be. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit that like on the way out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks, thank you. Just get the